Today, I wanna to talk about a Google Slides AI tool that kind of creates your whole presentation for you. Now, I've made a video about this in the past before called Magic Slides, and this is just an update that gives you a lot more features than I previously covered in the other video. And if you wanna install it, the link's gonna be down below in the description. You'll be get taken to this website, you hit install to get started, and I'll take you to the Google Workspace page where you can just hit install over here and easily implement it on your Google Slides. So now once you have it installed, you can head over to your Google Slides, head to the extensions tab up here, and now you should see this Magic Slides app open, and you just click this open button over here now if you're familiar with my previous video you'll actually notice that this toolbar looks a little bit different than the video i've covered before and that's because they've actually made a good amount of updates and features that you can add so for example here we're just going to go type in a topic such as how to succeed as a computer science major in college this is just the topic that i'm going to put for the presentation i'm going to put you know seven slides and we'll see what this thing will generate for us in terms of our topic all right awesome so magic slice has just now generated our presentation and as you can see, it looks definitely more minimalistic than it actually looked before, right? The font looks better, everything just looks better. And you can actually see here that there are actually relevant images on the right-hand side of the presentation, along with your bullet points as well. Now, another feature I wanna talk about is the reference text section of the plugin, right? Since OpenAI is limited on its knowledge in terms of gathering information, you can actually feed this extension your own reference text, your own re reference data, in case you're covering like a local story, a very recent event, a novel, a book that OpenAI might not have yet. And you can actually copy and paste that reference text into it. And OpenAI will understand it and create a presentation based on your reference text as well. Now talking about visually appealing, I do wanna mention that they've actually added a feature where you could change the theme of your presentation. So now you could change the font, you could change the color scheme that you're trying to go for for your presentation. And I'm gonna click here into different templates that I want and I don't have to stick necessarily with this template I could always change different things like bullet point style change the title font change the body font text color everything you can see here that there's a lot of flexibility but I'm just gonna go with what they have right here vintage rows and I'm gonna go ask it another topic the history of California from past to present for example right and total number of slides let's just do 10 for example and again I want to do images for each slide so I'm gonna hit generate here and we'll just see what it comes up with. All right, awesome. So now we have this presentation that it just generated for us called the history of California from past to present, which is the topic that I gave it. And again, as you can see here that they're actually generating again, very relevant images to what they're talking about. So for example, Native Americans in California, you can see here that Spanish exploration colonization, Mexican era, California gold rush, and there's definitely a lot of images here that they've put. And again, save time for yourself in terms of looking online for the images and copying, pasting them yourself. And they already found a high quality image for you just straight onto your presentation, which saves you a lot of time. Now, again, I do want to mention that there is definitely a free plan available for you to use this. So don't hesitate to download it. If you're enjoying it and you find it useful and you find yourself making a lot of presentations, then I don't see why you wouldn't want to upgrade to the premium plan for it to save you a lot of time. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.